Right now at 5.30, the Eastern High School football team is preparing to take the field in their annual homecoming game. Yeah, the star quarterback, though, for the pride of Capitol Hill, nearly saw his athletic career cut short due to red tape. Our reporting revealed that it was all a mistake. D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford is at Eastern High School tonight with a homecoming story of redemption. Andrew Sam? Andrew Second year on the team, a member of the yes, Blue Jonathan, Lake Allison, Lake we're, we're, it's really loud. <laughs> we're near the, uh, the speaker here. But anyway, we're here on the field of Lake Eastern Lake High School. Lake you may Lake recall Lake last year we did a series of stories about how a young quarterback, Sean Powell Jr., who'd moved in here from Virginia with a C average, uh, which was required to play ball, but D.C. wouldn't accept a C average from Virginia. And so they didn't accept it until, well, after the football season ended. Well, it is homecoming day here at Eastern, and Sean Powell Jr. is quarterback. Perhaps because of the Middle East threats, security around Eastern High and its parade route was unprecedented. But the kids seemed unfazed by all of that. The Eastern Ramblers marching band led a procession in the blocks around the school. Eastern's king and queen for homecoming. Even a middle school band in the neighborhood and Sean Powell Jr. prevented from playing last year is quarterback. This feel real good back being back on the field with my teammates. We've been through a lot since last year to this year. I just feel like everything just came together. Their record as they approach the game, five wins, four losses, with a lot riding on the homecoming game against a tough team, H.D. Woodson. Everything's on the line. If we win today, we punch our ticket to the tournament, to the playoffs. Um, if we lose, we have to buy a ticket to the playoffs. We got to take care of business tonight, Friday night with this kid right here. Sean's dad, Sean Sr., made no bones about it. He moved from Emporia, Virginia, got a job and home in D.C. so his son could get more exposure to college scouts. He was frustrated last year. I'm just fighting for what's right for my son. Um, I, I wouldn't be going this far with this if I... If, I, if my son was wrong at any point. I'm kind of glad I kind of went through that face adversity because it actually made me more stronger, more don't, don't be down on myself more. No lack of enthusiasm on this homecoming day. Eastern is a happy place. And the coach tells me that he thinks there will be scouts here from Marshall University and Penn State to look at uh, Sean and perhaps other players. The game starts at 6. Reporting live from Northeast Washington, Sam Ford, 7 News. All right, really exciting for them, Sam. Thank you. 7 News has been following the high school football players' journey to get back on the field since last year. You can watch all of our reporting on WJLA.com right there on the homepage.